today I'm going to show you how to make this super 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 pretty wavy um, bowed boutique bow as you can see it's got the really pretty bows on each side so cute and um, speed things up I have already made the base bow which is a half pin wheel pin bow on a four inch template and I'll put all the measurements in the description below but if you prefer them on the video form this is the information so it's 1.5 inch ribbon for the coloured versions where you've got the two colours it's 4 times 32 and we're going to pin 17 centimetres from the left and 10 centimetres from the right on the pieces that I'll show you just in a second so just move these ones out of the way and as you can see I've already started one just to make it a little bit quicker and then I've got my two pieces and when you start this pattern has got like a natural edge so the design needs to be this way not this way just doesn't look quite right so if you were using a let me just find one here we go so if you were using a print where your pattern is one way up you'd need to start it with this and when you turn it over it would go like that so when we're building you want the print facing down when we glue everything together, when we attach everything here together, we want to start it this way up, just so you know. So, like I said, make sure your print is the right way up. Just move this one out of the way a minute. And what I do is you lay your colour on top of each other, like this. Don't heat seal them beforehand because otherwise this won't work. So take your lighter in the blue clear bit of the flame. Heat seal those two ends and then use your thumb and your finger and sort of pinch them together and it will naturally join a little bit. This will just stop the ribbon from moving around and stop you seeing the colour underneath because you want it sort of lined up nicely. And if you've got a little bit extra... it down so it's even and again in the blue clear bit of the flame and pinch and that's all nicely together and again make sure you've got your ribbon the right way up and as I said from the left we're going to pin 17 centimetres. I have to write it down because I'm terrible for turning my left from my right. I'll just back here for you. There we go, so there's the 17 point. I'm just going to redo that because you can see you can see the green at the moment. I don't want to see that underneath. Let's do it again. There we go. That's better. Lined up now. So pinned at 17 centimetres. And then from the right. This is going to be where we are going to sew in our bow and again make sure the ribbons are nice lined up and this is where we're pinning at 10 centimeters from the right there we go so 17 from the left 10 from the right and that's what you'll end up with in a minute and then I've got my needle and thread already ready to go and we're going to go from above on this side. I'm just going to fold that in half so I know where the start point is. And again, I'm just making sure that that colour underneath all lined up before I put my first stitch mark in. So from above, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then just pull that across and you get three little nice even creases and then we're going to just wrap around a couple of times to get that nice and tight 
and then we stitch off that in the back same as we do any bow that we make and always do this first and add the bow centre that we're going to do in a minute before you start making your bow because um, it makes it much much easier this way than when you've already got it par partially together I know what I'm like for forgetting myself so like I said always do your little little middle first otherwise it takes you about 20 minutes fiddling around trying to get this little bit attached when it's already made into the main parts of the bow so don't forget to heat seal you want a touch of glue here okay turn that back over and we're just going to wrap round twice so there's one make sure it's nice and tight two make sure you're going directly over the original ribbon and we don't want to do this too long because we want this hidden behind the back so do it quite short as long as it goes over so you've got enough to wrap and don't forget to heat seal again just a little bit of glue behind there and there you go as you can see it's on the back it's not coming around the front so you can't see that join underneath And then you've got two pieces and these are the fronts what we want to do is we need to turn them down around so that our pin pins are facing towards us not up from us and we're going to take this side and what you do is you take this over so you turn it up at a slight angle and then you want to twist so up at a slight angle and then twist twist that under and what you want to do is that edge wants to be squared up against that pin there and it will look like this and you can curve it and you'll get this shape and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a clip and hold that in place and this is what you'll look like so again take it you curve it at a slight angle up and then twist it down so at a slight angle underneath twist it down and then you sort of flip it over and that is your wave part of the bow so that is this side of our bows okay and then all you want to do with this side just get rid of the glue strings from there so we take this one we want to take it over and again I'm just going to adjust that so it lines up with there make sure that that's all lined up and then we're going to take this and it goes from behind and you want that over that piece and this is what the back will now look like so obviously the plain colours that side the patterns showing on top and this is what the front shape looks like and again we start from here take this piece directly underneath line it all up make sure it starts where that pin was and you've now got two pieces that look exactly the same like this Thread. we're going to do six st stitches each side and I'm just going to show you the backs on both just so you can see the shape we're going to start just before the joins all together so from above first one's there one the second one is coming in where they're all starting to join make sure your layers all line up you don't want them moving around too much so that's one two three four your five is coming back where all those layers come together here and number six you want just after your pin by about a half centimeter a centimeter depending on 
how you eyeball things but you'll get three super nice creases like this and then you can pull that along and we're going to repeat exactly the same this side so from above just before the join about a half a centimeter number two right as they're all joining together three move your clip just double check everything's all still lined up four number five coming back out for all those layers there and number six just a little bit after the pin and again three nice even creases you can make these in two pieces and glue them together as long as you do exactly the same amount of stitches each side so if you do six one side you need to do six or seven if you do eight one side you need to do eight the other it doesn't work if you do six on one side eight on the other that's where you lose your balance and the bow is starting to look sloppy so there you go pull that nice and tight this is what i call cinching and you'll get this and i'm just going to line up the creases again and go round the opposite side stay close to the center so you're not when you do your wrap you can't see any of the stitches and then i'm just going to do a couple of stitches in the back just to hold everything nice and tight one so there you go this is what it looks like at the minute then we're going to just add our base bow and again if you don't like the thread through method that i use and wrapping around that is absolutely fine you can glue your layers instead i just do this so this is my base bow as i said the half pinwheel i'm going to go from above through the center with my thread and i'm going to go right through the center of this one as well so up through there through the middle of the three creases on each side pull those together Get my bow so it sits exactly where we want it where i want the tails going around and i will attach a link above for the base bow so you can do and i'll do it template made and freehand made so you can work out which way is best for you this is just to speed up the video a little bit if you need any more help or advice i have a facebook group as well links are all in the descriptions along with all of your measurements and further information like where the ribbon's from etc things like this the roses are from lovey crafts ltd in the uk and like i said all that information is in the description box so this is the shape that you will get in a moment and we're just going to add our clip add our center wrap our middle and make it look like a bow with these ones it is one that i would recommend blasting once you've got everything settled and you're happy with everything i would get some max strength hairspray and spray it to hold it all nicely i'm not in a ventilated area today so i can't show you exactly how to do it but you basically blast it both sides until it's almost completely damp and then leave it to set because otherwise sometimes your loops can go a little bit squished and floppy i will show you in a second so just wrap this round twice make sure it's nice and tight and squared off right against that center there and again open that clip up wrap it round there we go don't forget to heat seal glue and the last thing i'm going to do just because i like a little bit more in the middle i've got the scrunch bit and i've got a tutorial again 
on how to do more interesting centerpieces. So I'll link that above as well. I'm just going to add that, twist that round, and glue this side. And then we'll just give this a little fluff and move any. And as you can see on here, you can see where the loops are sort of twisting down a little bit. What you want to do is, like I said, twist them up where you want them. So they sit exactly where you like. And then, like I said, this is when you get the hairspray in and, like I said, completely coat them so that they don't move and these don't, like, get squished down and move out of place. So thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.